In battle, Zimbabwe opposition MDCT Vice President Tokozani Kupe has been attacked again, this time at the party offices in Bulawayo. Images of Kupe's driver, who appears to be injured on the head uh, with a shirt full of blood and her car with broken windows, went viral on social media. Kupe was apparently boycotting a rally of the opposition alliance, which was addressed by newly confirmed party leader Nelson Chamisa near Harare. Kupe says she doesn't recognize Chamisa as the party leader. Morgan Chwangarai's breakaway parties are struggling to unite ahead of the upcoming elections in an opposition alliance. They held a rally in Chinoy outside Harare, but Vice President Tokozani Kupe boycotted it and held a meeting at the MDCT Bulawayo office that turned into a battleground. As the meeting started, uh, some thugs, about 60 of them, it came with stones, with iron bars, and they broke the doors, they vandalized all the cars outside, they threw stones, more than 10 people have been injured. Nelson Chamisa was nominated interim leader following MDCT founder Morgan Tsangarai's death and confirmed by the party's national council, the highest decision-making body between conferences, but Kupe is adamant she is still the legitimate caretaker president where the problem is because I am the constitutional acting president of the movement for democratic change because I was elected by Congress in 2014. And so you don't recognize uh, Nelson? I, I, yes, I don't because we have not yet a Congress because leaders are elected by Congress. But Chamisa proceeded with opposition alliance partners in Chinoy. There is no way ED is going to win an election in Zimbabwe. Yeah. There is no way ZANU PF is going to win an election in Zimbabwe. Yeah. I know that Robert Mugabe is going to vote for the opposition. Yeah. Divisions in the MDCT are threatening to derail the party's campaigning towards this year's elections expected in a matter of months. Ntakwa Nangatani, SABC News.